Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we're doing another judging of the weekly coffee cocktail challenge. And we've had some awesome entries. I'm super stoked with the ones I'm going to be creating today. They're three very different cocktails. Uh, we've got a tiki style, then we've got a creamy with a little bit of cheesecake batter in there. So something a little bit different. And we've got a midnight kiss, which is a stir down. So a first stirred cocktail uh, for the coffee cocktail challenge, at least on the channel. There's obviously been uh, quite a few stir downs, but they just haven't made it into the top three yet. So make sure you uh, check out the link in the description below so you can vote on your favorites. And of course, if you're up for it, submit your own cocktail. Um, the first one who finished up with a whopping 411 votes was Nathan R for the Mr. Swizzle. Uh, so Nathan said, I've noticed that cocktails made with Mr. Black, uh, that most mock cocktails made with Mr. Black are evening cocktails with heavy flavors. I wanted to go the opposite route and create something refreshing and bright. The Mr. Swizzle combines the burnt sugar flavors of Demerara rum and honey with coffee. This depth is opened up by the lemon juice base and the clove spice notes of the Falernum. Uh, enjoy a few of these at brunch time. You deserve it. <laughs> so this is made straight into the glass with crushed ice. <laughs> Forgot the ice. No ice. <laughs> Start by three quarter filling your swizzle friendly glass, i.e. a footed pilsner or a highball. And then measure out, again, I'm gonna be looking down, uh, 45 mil, 1.5 ounce of your Demerara rum. Demerara, Demerara rum. Uh, so El Dorado number eight was um, one of Nathan's suggestions. I've also got the 15, but the 15 has a little bit more sort of spice and pepperiness to it. So I thought this would, would work best. We've got three quarters, sorry, 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Straight in. And then 15 mil, half an ounce of Velvet Falernum, which is a liqueur. It only sits at 11%, but it's got clove, a little bit of cinnamon, um, lime and spices. So it was 15 mil, half an ounce. And then a two to one honey syrup. Uh, 15 mil, half an ounce. I actually had to stop using these bottles on the channel because I got asked so much where I got them from. I don't have any more, I'm oh, sorry. Can't, I don't have access to them, I have to buy them by the pallet. Uh, and then we've got fresh lemon juice. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. Then finish off with two dashes of bitters, orange bitters. Uh, so that's a brand new bottle, so it's coming out really slowly. Uh, Fee Brothers and Regan, so a dash of each. And then top it up. And preferably you have a swizzle stick and give it a bit of a, bit of a swizzle. Stir it all through, add some dilution. You get a nice frost on that glass. And again, top it up with ice. Push that down. Get in there. Add a nice long straw, a surfside sip, and a nice simple garnish, a lemon wheel. Oh, it's overflowing. They have a Mr. Swizzle. Cheers.
Oh. Yes, just as described. This is perfect for brunch time. Um, I think the brunch kind of cocktail comes from the, the citrus and the honey um, with the little bit of um, spice. These flavors work really well together, especially with that demerara rum. And then the coffee just, um, just sort of sits there subtly in the background. On to cocktail number two, which is the How Do You Take Your Cheesecake, Mr. Black. Quite a long name, probably the longest name we had, uh, the longest submission. Uh, this particular recipe had 355 votes and was by HLY Morris. So I'm assuming Haley. Haley, maybe? Uh, she said, or he said, uh, what's better than coffee and dessert? Coffee and dessert in a cocktail. For this drink, I was inspired by one of my favorite sweet treats, coffee cream cheese pie from the famed American chain restaurant, Marie Callender's. Cheers. So this one has the addition of a cheesecake batter. So I've made it according to his or her recipe uh, with softened cream cheese, sour cream, lemon juice, um, vanilla extract and sugar. So I'll leave that in the recipe uh, in a link in the description below. So this one calls for 1.5 ounces, 45 mil of Mr. Black. Straight into the shaker. And seven and a half, <laughs> just brain fart. Seven and a half mil, quarter of an ounce of Averna Amaro. And the same measurement of an, a lightly aged rum. Um, they called for the Bacardi, so Puerto Rican, uh, lightly aged, which was a four-year-old. Um, I've got the eight-year-old, so it's gonna add a little bit more depth to the cocktail. Um, this is the closest thing I had to it. So same measurement, seven and a half mil, one quarter ounce. We've got cold brew concentrate. So one ounce, 30 mil. Thanks to Simonis, you can find the recipe up here. And then we've got the cheesecake batter. Christmas themed ex Nutella jar, uh, one teaspoon. Yeah. Get in there. Um, and then they've called for dry shaking just to incorporate that um, cheesecake batter. Then wet shaking for 10 to 15 seconds. Strained into a chilled coop. And garnished with grated Oreo. That looks really good. Uh, with the cheesecake batter, it looks quite thick and creamy. Um, decadent, as my wife is saying in the background. There you have the how do you take your cheesecake, Mr. Black. Cheers. Ooh. Uh, quite surprising, actually. Um, the. The coffee is the hero in that one. It, it's quite, not dominating, but uh, it's definitely the strongest taste. But after adding that uh, cheesecake batter, I was expecting more, more sour cream to come through. This is good. Mm. Rich caffeine, coffee notes. 
And last but not least, we've got the Midnight Kiss by Chip. Uh, both Chip and Nathan are actually members of the Steve the Bartender Facebook crew. So a lot of people have been asking how do they how do they get more votes on their cocktail submissions, but the Facebook group is uh, an excellent way. So um, there's been there's almost five thousand people in there. So if you jump into the Facebook crew and become one of the, the members and collaborate with other people and offer advice, ask for advice, you can put your cocktail in there. Um, it's a really good community, so if you submit a good cocktail, then you're going to get some votes out of it. Um, the description, something dark, sweet, and a little spicy. Uh, straight to the point. So this one here, um, I have actually seen uh, a few other people recreate it in the Facebook uh, group, and they said they quite enjoyed it, so I'm excited to try it. Uh, this is a stir down, so we are starting with one ounce, 30 mil of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. And Chip called for a bourbon whiskey, which was um, Old Forester 1920, the Prohibition style um, bourbon. So I believe that is slightly higher in rye and it's also a high percentage. I think it sits at about 52.5. So Old Forester. Are you gonna do a fun fact with Steve? Yeah, fun facts with Steve. Um, I could be wrong, so if I am, correct me in the comments below. But uh, apparently Old Forester is the only, or well, one of the longest running uh, distilleries because they were actually producing throughout Prohibition um, and they were, doctors were prescribing their whiskey and for some reason it was 52.5% to be able to be prescribed maybe or something like that. But uh, I got Turkey 101, which is at 50.5%. Um, it's probably the closest thing I had access to. Long story short, uh, one ounce, 30 mil of your Prohibition style bourbon whiskey, or in my case, Turkey 101. Then we have half an ounce, 15 mil of cherry liqueur, cherry herring, cherry herring, sure. And ginger liqueur adds a little bit of spice to it. I'm using Domaine de Canton. Is that how you pronounce it? Sure. Uh, half an ounce, 15 mil, and a dash, single dash of chocolate bitters. Ugh. Fill the mixing glass with ice and stir it for 30 seconds. And chip calls for serving it over a brick of ice, block of ice, large cube. Strain it straight over the top. and garnish with a cherry. They have the Midnight Kiss. I feel like uh, chips looked a little redder, a little, a little more crimson color to it. Mm. Cheers. That's good, that's smooth. Um, it's actually quite, because of the, the multiple liqueurs, it's quite uh, viscous. I don't get a lot of the spice coming through from the, the ginger liqueur. But those flavors have melded really quite well. Um, it's gonna be a close call. Time for the judging. Ooh. 
<laughs> damn, that was close. Okay guys, so it was incredibly close. It was a matter of a couple of points. Uh, yet again, I will publish the, the actual breakdown uh, based on taste, presentation, originality, and creativity. Um, the link will be in the description below. It's on the coffeecocktails.com.au website. You can go check that out. It was only um, one and a half points, the difference between all three of them. Uh, and behind the scenes, I've actually been getting my wife, Kat, to also judge them. And she's actually been very consistent with my, my scores as well. And we've both sort of liked them in the same order, which is kind of, I feel like it reinforces my my thoughts. So I, I'm, so. Yeah, usually we have opposing views when it comes to, to cocktails and, and, and flavors. So um, yeah, it's gone well, it's gone very close. Um, as far as the taste goes, it was the, all three of them were um, were fantastic. They were all very different, but they all worked well. Um, as far as the coffee flavor, uh, this was a little bit subdued, but the coffee was very prominent in the um, the cheesecake style cocktail. Um, as far as presentation goes, um, unfortunately, this lost a little bit. It looked fine when it was first made, but as you drink it, because you've got that cheesecake batter, it's got sour cream in it, it's, it doesn't look as nice. Um, so the presentation drops a little bit as you, as you drink the cocktail, but when you first serve it, it looks good. So they all scored highly for originality, creativity, um, but for the winner, I have to say, it was the Mr. Swizzle by Nathan R. I really enjoyed this one. Um, Whilst the coffee flavor was not as prominent as this one, um, it worked really well. It was unique, it was different, tiki style, I enjoyed it. Uh, Chip, your, your cocktail was fantastic as well. I felt like all those flavors um, combined nicely uh, and made one very intricate cocktail. But Mr. Swizzle, congratulations, you've taken out uh, the top spot of the coffee cocktail challenge, week number three. Make sure you guys vote Enter if you like, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.